Well, hi there, my little reading buddies. How are you today? This is your own Gomti Aunty. Aunty is super, super excited to see you again today with another exciting episode. Yes, today Aunty is going to read another interesting story, another one that you love reading in this channel. Today, Aunty is reading a Peppa Pig story. This is Mr. Fox's shop. And before Aunty proceeds here, if you have not subscribed to this channel yet, make sure you subscribe and click on the bell icon so that you get notified every time Aunty uploads a new video. And make sure you like and share this video at the end of watching this. Yes, and at the end of this video, Aunty is also going to share with you a very, very exciting, important news. So stay for that until the end. Okay, but for now, let's read the story. Mr. Fox's shop. It's Granny and Grandpa Pig's wedding anniversary. Peppa and George want to get them a present. But what should they buy? Hmm. Let's find out what did they buy by reading this story. Shall we? reading the story Mr. Fox's shop this is a Peppa Pig story and this is a ladybird publications Mr. Fox's shop mommy and daddy pig are wrapping up a present for granny and grandpa pig's wedding anniversary it's a glass vase hmm that's a bit of a boring present, says Peppa. Ho, 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 laughs Daddy Pig. It's a present for grown-ups. <laughs> Peppa and George want to buy Granny and Grandpa Pig a present too. George gets their piggy bank to see how much money they have. Oh, that's so sweet of George, right? We have one penny and two buttons to spend, says Peppa. Peppa, George, Mommy and Daddy Pig head to Mr. Fox's shop with the piggy bank. Peppa is very excited about buying Granny and Grandpa Pig a present. When they arrive, they open Mr. Fox's shop door and the bell rings. ding a ling a -ling. Hello there, says Mr. Fox from behind the shop counter. Can I help you? It's Granny and Grandpa Pig's wedding anniversary, says Mommy Pig. They are both very old and need a present, explains Peppa. My shop has everything, replies Mr. Fox. I'm sure you'll find something. A big Teddy, cries Peppa, picking a teddy bear from the shelf. I love it. This can be the present. The present is not for you, says Mummy Pig. It's for Granny and Grandpa. Oh, yes, says Peppa, disappointed. Do your granny and grandpa like digging in the garden? Asks Mr. Fox. Yes, replies Peppa. Then why not get them a bucket and spade each? Asks Mr. Fox. They have spades and buckets and forks and everything, says Peppa. I know, cries Peppa. Grandpa likes sailing his boat. Say no more, says Mr. Fox. 
I have everything a sailor could wish for. Do you have pirate's treasure? Asks Peppa. Ah, sighs Mr. Fox. Everything except pirate's treasure. Oh, Peppa and George sigh disappointed. How about this plastic oak chair? Suggests Mr. Fox. Is it comfortable? Asks Daddy Pig. You can't sit on it, warns Mr. Fox. You just look at it because it looks nice. <laughs> wow, that's not much fun, says Peppa. Even for a grown-up. My shop sells everything, says Mr. Fox. There must be something you like. There is, cries Peppa, picking up the teddy bear again. I like this teddy and I think Granny and Grandpa would like it too. Ho, 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 laughs Daddy Pig. Let's buy the teddy then. A very good choice, says Mr. Fox. Who is going to pay? Charles empties the piggy bank onto the shop counter. One penny and two buttons, says Mr. Fox. Here's your change. One button. Thank you, Mr. Fox, replies Peppa. Then... Peppa and her family head to Granny and Grandpa's house. Happy anniversary, cheers Mummy Pig, as Granny Pig opens the vase. Oh, another glass vase, says Grandpa, not very excited. It's a grown-up present, says Peppa. That's why it's a bit boring. Then Granny opens the present from Peppa and George. A teddy bear, she says, delighted. Thank you, Peppa and George. It's the best present we have ever had. Indeed, says Grandpa excitedly. And that was the end of that story and the present that they bought for Granny and Grandpa Pig. Wow! And that is the end of that story. I hope you enjoy the story as much as I enjoyed reading this. And uh, oftentimes we go to a store, you know, trying to find gifts for our friend's birthday, trying to find a gift for, uh, you know, our parents' birthday, a surprise for our friends and things like that, right? Yes, leave in the comment below what surprise that you gave for your friend or your parents or your sibling and uh, what gifts did you buy and how do you enjoy picking these gifts for your loved ones? Auntie would really love to hear about that. And Auntie is also sharing a very important message for parents. So at this time, Kanna, if your parents are not with you, can you quickly go and bring them so that Auntie can share this important message? I'm going to wait. I see you. Go bring your mom or dad. Okay. Hello. Hi, dear parent. As you know, apart from running this uh, YouTube channel, I'm also a reading specialist and I help children read fluently. I'm conducting a master class on how to make your child a fluent reader in just about three months. I would like to share with you some tips and techniques inside this master class. And my master class schedule is given in a link below in the description box. So click on the link in the description box and register for my next upcoming webinar and inside the master class i'm going to share with you a lot of tips and techniques and you don't want to miss it i really look forward to seeing you inside my master class and together let's 
raise our children as fluent readers and lifelong learners thank you so much for your time uh, watching this message and now back to kana thank you so much for reading this story with me i hope you loved this peppa pig story and i enjoyed reading the story aunty will see you on another interesting episode until then take care and read a lot of books you know when you read a lot of books your brain from here becomes this big you want a small brain or a big brain yeah big brain right and reading is the only way to make your brain go from here to here so let's all read every single day until i meet you in another exciting episode take care bye bye love you so much bye